and uh mm. What's up guys, John back with another video and today it is my birthday. We are going to eat unlimited meat at this place right behind me, Gogi Sadal. So let's go inside. We're gonna eat as much as we can. I don't know, I'm excited. I haven't eaten uh, out in a month. So well, let's get it. All right guys, so we have already put everything on the grill. You can choose this place. We just came at 12 p.m. and that's when it just opened and you can choose different types of work and um, unlimited refills for 14,500 so about like 12 bucks for unlimited um, meat so the 15,000 is for dinner and uh, 14,000 is for lunch unlimited so um, this is this is going to be super good and uh, we're going to try some of this meat right now look at this beautiful meat we got the lean one but um, we're gonna flip it around. But we have some um, sauce here, some rice. I like it with rice. And then our side dishes with the mac salad and um, all the other stuff. But got some fried stuff as well. Let's try the fried stuff first. And definitely the sauce. So this is called, is a fried um, wonton pretty much. And um, let's try it. Mm. It's super crispy. Crunchy. Mm. We walked all the way up the hill for this, so I'm really hungry. Here's a seaweed fried, and then there's like noodles, glass noodles in the middle. Mm. Nice and crunchy. Looks like they just fried it, like fresh. Yeah. You can see the seaweed on there. Mm. So the main reason why I picked this restaurant is because of the, the pork, marinated pork. And that one is um, really good, but we have to wait for that one because we have to change the, the, the grill. But. Um, that's the reason why I wanted to come here because I haven't had in a long, long time. So I'm super excited to get. All right, they also have the pork skin here. I'm not a big fan of it, but you guys can kind of see the different um, striations here. You can see the bubble, the, this, the hair follicles. I'm going to try it though. I'm not a big fan, but I'm going to try it. All right, so we're gonna try some of this, um, this pork here. I'm gonna grab this piece here. So, ooh, it just popped. <laughs> you can see it, look at that, nice and crispy. Look at that. All right, and then we gotta dip the sauce. Let's try it. Mmm. Taste it with some rice. So this, you use it to wrap the pork. So I'm gonna grab some uh, lettuce here. Grab some lettuce. And uh, I don't know if this is ready yet. Is it ready? Oh, it should be ready. Actually, let's go with the, this pork first. Pork skin, gelatinous. Okay. It's okay. It has a yang yang, so sweet kind of um, sauce on there. Yang yang sauce. Not my style, but all right. Okay, let's get into the the wrap. 
is called a sam. So you just take a piece of um, pork, some um, some lettuce, put it in some sauce. Um, you can also put some of this um, sweet onion on there, which I like. And then I like to put some uh, grilled garlic on there. So nice, nice grilled garlic. I'll wrap it up in there. Let's try some of this. So I just found out about this, but my wife got some curry sauce, curry powder here. So I'm gonna put some <coughs> curry powder on here. And uh mm. I beat it. It's so good, the crunchiness of the, the char on there. It's so good. And some mac salad. Mmm, mm, sweet. Mm. I like to wrap it up in, with the with the sam with the lettuce, but some people like to just eat it straight. All right, let's do another one. Nice fresh head of lettuce. Look at this nice and crispy one. Okay, I'm gonna put some sauce on it first. Nice and crispy. With some uh, garlic, of course. And some of this uh, sweet onion. <laughs> mm. Really crunchy on that, that uh, nice char on there. Really nice and crunchy. We're gonna have some of this kalbi right now. Look at that. Nice and crispy, nice char on there. It's supposed to be uh, candied pork, pretty much. Mm. The marinade definitely makes it really good, but the pork quality mm, is not as good as I thought. The meat needs to be a little bit softer, so um, I think because it's kind of cheap, all you can eat kind of buffet, so the quality isn't like there uh, unless you go to a more expensive place, but um, not bad. No. This is literally candied pork. Look at this piece. So the trick for this place is if the quality of meat is not that good, pick the thinner one and then pick the smaller cut. That way you don't have a big chunk of meat that you have to cook. It was the first time we cooked the, the big one, but now we got two smaller pieces and it's nice and crispy, thin, and it still has all the juices on there because all the marinade is all over it. Um, I can't even imagine all the sugar that they use, but um, still delicious either way. Uh, I'm sure there are better places, but uh, this place is not bad. Alright guys, I am full. Um, we are going to take some pictures. We are here at Seoul Station. Um, this is like the main station here in, in Korea. 
Uh, it's one of the biggest at the same time. We're going to take some pictures. We're going to go to a specialty cafe. So stay tuned. We're going to get that Instagram content for you guys. Um, so right now, pretty much. This is, um, this is the original Seoul Station, yeah? Oh. Yeah, so this is the original Seoul Station. And then obviously they modernized it and then they made this one right here, which is pretty big inside. So this one, I think, is now like a museum. They have like the Corona testing here. And uh, I think it's like a, yeah, it's a museum here. So um, if you look right across the street here, you'll see a bridge that runs right there. And that is kind of like copy New York. It's a bridge that, pedestrian bridge. So you can walk through it. But here's the old um, old station um, they, that they use and convert it into a museum. All right, so we're on the skywalk right now. And this is like one of the main major intersections of Korea. And you guys can see right below me, it's a huge intersection. And it goes to the other side and we are pretty much on the right above Seoul Station. This is like the main terminal. So all the buses are over here as well. But um, Seoul Station is right there. And it's very convenient because they made a, a walkway and the thing I love about like um, countries that are, well, just other countries rather than the US is that I love how they integrate like the traditional old castles and temples and stuff like that with the skyscrapers. So if you look over here, there's a gate all the way down there and it's surrounded by sky rises. So I love that about Korea is that they have, t they build around it. They don't destroy it. That's the thing I love about it. So um, let me know. If you guys ever been to other countries that um, you know that are like that, or why do you guys like um, traveling that kind of thing? I, I lived here for like almost ten years. It's like eight years now, so um, <laughs> I, I like it here. Um, but uh, in terms of if you need to, you know, find a job, you know, the daily life kind of thing, that can be a little bit challenging. So let me know down in the comments below. Um, you know, what are your experiences if you ever lived? um in a different country all right guys we are at uh nodul station nodul yok and uh, we are in a kind of like older um it's this tomb of sayukshin um park and then we're gonna take some pictures and take some sneaker pics um that's what i wanted to do on my day off so let's go get it um, it's pretty interesting. Um, I think it'll be really cool to see some Korean um, architecture with the sneakers. Let's go. guys so we have stopped at um Noryeongjin, which is like the fish market area but um right behind me there's well this whole area has a lot of study cafes because this area has the most um study i guess this this area is known for studying so there's a lot of goshiwans uh, which is like a one room very tiny closet um look very tiny closet for students to study and then live. So I was living in one for three years while I was here um, doing my MBA before I moved out to a bigger location. So um, definitely this area is very quiet and uh, there's a lot of students here. All right. 
right guys, I am in um, near Seoul Station and we are in a cafe called On Off Coffee and I love coming to these specialized uh, cafes, my wife and I actually. It's like kind of our hobby trying to find like these new places but got some uh, milk tea here. Mm. Mm. Really good. Expensive but really good. And uh, we also have some um, Americano. Mm. Not too strong, not too bitter. I like it. I like it. Uh, the price is usually more expensive here, but um, I like, you know, it's a good vibe. And um, I like the way they do cafes in Korea. It's just a lot more, um, I don't know. Oh, there's a dog. <laughs> Um, we also got a madeleine here. It's fresh from um, the bakery. So I'm going to try a little bit here, but... Um, yeah. So I'm going to try a little bit. Freshly baked. Mmm, hot. Mmm. Mmm. It's good. There's a dog here. <laughs> 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 just, you know, he wanted, to, he smelled it, so he's like, I want some. <laughs> sure. I think he's the owner dog. Anyways, so that's why I like um, a Korea's. Um, cafe ambience so that's it for today's um, vlog let me know down in the comments below what you guys thought about my birthday um, day with my wife um, I had one delicious food you know kind of relaxed that kind of thing so um, I'll see you guys in the next video